Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Pleasure to be able to chat with you uh, here from the um, safety and security of my own office. One thing we did learn through the remote learning period was that uh, short, snappy videos from the desk of the principal are much better received than my long-winded um, diatribe emails. So uh, I hope I can manage to get through the two or three things um, in really quick succession uh, and, and get that message across to you. So appreciate your time uh, and hopefully we can get through the four things on my list fairly quickly. Uh, at the risk of repeating myself across multiple messages, it has been fabulous to have your children back in the school. Uh, they are just having a blast. Uh, the teachers are so happy to have them back in. And whilst you know we still are all adjusting to, to the new normal, uh, our routines, getting access to all the spaces, the, the first consideration, of course, is keeping everybody safe. And after that, then trying to get back to, to what we knew and loved about the other school and the things that are so important to us. First on my list here today is about the car park. We, we are required to have a staggered start and staggered finish, and so we put that in place. But of course, we've been reviewing that since the start of the year. Some of you may see me out at the gate um, on the roadside, checking both sides of the road, uh, even timing cars to see how long it get, takes to get from um, gate one to gate two and then to drop off um, and, and looking at the busiest times. So I know there's a significant challenge between six, uh, 7.45 to 8, that's our busy time, and then again from 1 to 1.15 for our foundation stage parents. So we will be looking to just tweak, slightly adjust those um, staggered starts to try and ease the burden on the traffic. Um, one thing I would really ask please is that A is that we adhere to our, our common rules of courtesy, particularly with the security staff who are doing a really tough job out there. I'm trying to direct staff, keep the children safe because there are multiple uh, children walking through the car park area and, and really try and help you to get you in and out with the drop off safely and happily. So please if you could just show them the, the, the due consideration that they um, deserve. And secondly, if you are doing drop off, it's really important that we adhere to all of the RTA regulations, so not double parking, not parking um, in lanes. Uh, and certainly if you wish to, you can go past the front of the school, turn right into the sand lot and park there, and we have easy access through our, our rear gate, through gate three. Uh, that may ease the burden for some of you. Um, we will make some changes to that staggered start and finish uh, in the very near future, so please just watch this space. Secondly, uh, a great school, a great school has high standards for everything, and excellence is the standard. So when uh, we start now just making sure that, for example, children are all wearing the correct shoes as per the uniform policy, uh, children have their school hats as per the uniform policy, all those small things, they may seem small and trivial in this important time when we're trying to get back to normal, but you would expect us to uphold those standards, and so uphold those standards we will. Um, so please, you know, if you do get a message saying, hey, um, your daughter had the wrong shoes on, could you please make sure that we um, chase that up over the next couple of days? I would appreciate your, your adherence to those standards because everyone wants a fantastic school, excellence as standard, and that requires that we all meet those standards. Thirdly, uh, and it is to do with COVID, and, and I didn't put that first on the list because, again, there's so many things that make Arbor great that COVID is really just only one part of what we're trying to deal with at the moment. But firstly, you know, we're all safe and well, and whilst we have had, had a case uh, in the school and we have had several siblings or parents or close family members that have reported to be um, tested positive, the majority of those cases are asymptomatic, so we wish those families well. Um, and I know that, that um, we've been very lucky so far that we haven't had uh, too many cases impacting on our day-to-day -day business. Uh, what's really important and, and a real positive uh, reflection of the procedures uh, and adherence of children in school is that we've had no transmission within the school. So every um, identified close contact or every identified case within the school, uh, there's been no follow-on effects from that. So I'm really, really proud of our children in terms of their social distancing. I'm proud of the teachers uh, reinforcing that message. And I'm also thankful to the families who've been really considerate in terms of the activities their children do outside of the school because um, the only cases that we have and the only, the only close contacts actually are occurring outside of the school. So uh, it's really important that we keep that up. We don't drop our guard. We do have the half-term vacation coming up. Uh, so it's important that we just maintain vigilance um, in all of the activities that we do inside the school and outside the school. And lastly, linked to that, I did mention there that we have the half-term holiday coming up. Um, some of you may have seen recently that the KHDA released some changes to the school calendar. Um, it's going to have some impact on our calendar, but what I do need to do first of all is submit a new revised calendar to the KHDA. They will then approve that and they will send it back to us with their approval or not, and we will have to make further changes. 
Um, as we have got October very, very near, and I know many of you will have made plans or made bookings or perhaps looked for staycations, is I'm looking to not make any changes to the October half term break, so that's in two weeks time. Uh, so that would still uh, stay in the calendar. Uh, it would be follow on days from that that may change. So I'm working very quickly with my senior leadership team to, to just finalise that calendar, send it up to the KHDA and have that approved before it comes back. Um, the regulations really have just changed around days that we can use for training for staff, which is very important to the growth of our staff and the quality of what the children get um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And secondly, about the start and finish dates of the year, uh, the holiday periods and how many days um, vacation the children get throughout the year. So I'm working on that as fast as I can. Ladies and gents, I really appreciate your support through the year. Make sure that if you have any questions, uh, touch base with the parent relations team. Um, of course, I'm always bookable to come and see me, but make an appointment and we can sit down and, and chat things through. Um, other than that, your teacher's always your first point of call. Check our social media uh, and I look forward to the day when we can meet in person. Take care.